Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create a multi-level table of contents on a Windows 7 Word. And here's how. Before creating the table of contents, ensure that you have applied heading styles to the relevant sections of your document. Word uses these heading styles to generate the TOC automatically based on the hierarchy of headings. Navigate to each section of your document that you want to include in the TOC. Highlight the section title or heading. Go to the Home tab in the ribbon. Click on Heading 1, Heading 2, etc. to apply the appropriate heading style. Use Heading 1 for main sections, Heading 2 for subsections, and so on. Once you have applied heading styles throughout your document, position the cursor where you want the table of contents to appear, usually at the beginning of the document, located in the ribbon at the top of Microsoft Word. In the Table of Contents group, click on Table of Contents. A drop-down menu will appear with various predefined TOC styles. Choose one of the built-in TOC styles that best fits your document's layout and design requirements. These styles determine how the TOC entries will appear, including font, spacing, and alignment. To create a multi-level table of contents with specific formatting, if you want more than three levels, heading 1, heading 2, heading 3 in your TOC, you can customize this. Click on Custom Table of Contents in the Table of Contents drop-down menu. In the Table of Contents dialog box, under Show Levels, specify the number of heading levels you want to include in the TOC up to 9 levels. Click OK to generate the customized TOC with the specified levels. By default, Word updates the Table of Contents automatically when you make changes to headings or page numbers. Simply click within the TOC and select Update Table in the References tab to refresh it, if needed. Manually update the TOC by clicking within the TOC and selecting Update Table, then choosing either Update Page Numbers only or Update Entire Table. Review the generated table of contents to ensure that all headings and subheadings are correctly included and formatted according to your document structure. If necessary, modify heading styles or update the TOC settings to refine the appearance and layout. And that's it. I hope this helps. And before we end this video, please do share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.